Okay. Well, a scandal is brewing at the Pentagon. Military and civilian employees caught red-handed using government-issued credit cards for strictly forbidden activities, including escorts and gambling. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is here with more from the Pentagon. So, Jennifer, what are we learning here? How big is this problem? Well, Martha, 1.6 million people in the Defense Department have government-issued credit cards. That includes civilians, active duty, as well as Guard and Reserve officers. The Inspector General began investigating suspected abuse of the credit cards last August. The report has not been released, but we can confirm they found instances of the cards being used for, quote, adult entertainment. About $1 million were used for inappropriate transactions. The audit of government travel charge transactions at the Pentagon found the cards were being used at casinos for escort services and, quote, adult activities in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. The news was first reported by Politico. Martha? Unbelievable. I mean, it's an unbelievably (laughs) scathing report. Can you imagine if any of us did this with the company credit card? We would be out in about four and a half minutes. So what prompted the inspector general to, to look at this? How did this all get opened up? Well, there have been a steady stream of these cases since the Bureau of Land Management had to fire three employees for charging gift cards worth $800,000 on their government credit cards. The Department of Labor found employees using their credit cards for haircuts and other personal items. That's when Senator Chuck Grassley uh, passed the Government Charge Card Abuse Prevention Act in 2012. Quote, I'm interested to see the report from the DOD and find out more about what's being done right and wrong at DOD to prevent abuse, he said in a statement. What I hope is that my reforms that became law have been implemented well and that agencies and auditors are using the reforms to catch problems. The DOD is not alone. In 2008, a report by the Government Accountability Office found government-issued cardholders being used for internet dating services and lavish dinners involving top-shelf liquor. The Pentagon's response to the new IG report, quote, the Department of Defense is aware of the audit and when the report is complete, the department will take appropriate action. The Inspector General's office at the Pentagon, Martha, would not comment on the story, but said that the inappropriate use of Pentagon credit cards at casinos and for adult entertainment was, quote, not significant. They would not say when the report would be released. Martha. Nonetheless, I mean, you know, has anyone ever been fired over this, this behavior? Well, it's still a million dollars, so it may have been a small amount of the overall use by the credit cards, but it was still a million dollars worth in escort services and casino uh, charges. Yeah, I would imagine that you're only supposed to use them for business, so the line should be pretty clear (laughs) on that. Jennifer, thank you very much.